The next topic we're going to discuss is diabetes. So the problem with diabetes is the pancreas does not produce enough of the hormone insulin. So if the blood is not producing the insulin, taking it round, the brain uses sugar and that's where the problem comes. Instead of using sugar, it uses fat from the body. So again, we've got this high poor and high per. So high poor glycemia means high or low blood sugar levels. Think about it, high poor glycemia means low. High per glycemia means high. So if somebody is high poor glycemic, they've got low blood sugar levels. So how fast do you think it comes on in high poor glycemia? between one minute to an hour. Very, very fast. Hyperglycemia can occur over 48 hours. So the person that's going to go unconscious on you is the hypoglycemic person. Low blood sugar levels. So what are you going to do for somebody that has hypoglycemia? How would you recognize again signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia as occurred as opposed to hyperglycemia. So if we look at high blood sugar is slow. Low blood sugar comes on very fast. Remember one minute to an hour. Your levels of response. How would you recognize Deteriorate slowly, deteriorate rapidly with your low. So your low one will be acting totally out of character towards you. It could even become violent towards you. Skin, the high pore that is going to go unconscious if not treated will have pale, cold, sweaty skin. The high pore glycemic patient will have dry and warm skin. Breathing on high poor glycemic will be shallow and rapid. Breathing on high poor will be deep sighing breaths. Your pulse will be rapid on low and high. Other signs and symptoms to be, to be aware of, like we said with the high poor, it could become violent. Other signs and symptoms, the high poor will have very thirsty, hunger and a, fruit, a fruity smell on the breath. This is the acetone in the ketone. So you can recognize it straight away. The problem with your high poor glycemic is he may be confused for having taken alcohol or drugs. So what will be your treatment for high poor and hyper glycemia. 20 grams of glucose is recommended for the adult dosage in hypoglycemia. They do recommend 200 mils of lemonade, but it must be the original, not the diet. And again, these is just a rough guideline, 200 mils with these Companies being hammered for the sugar tax, you might have to give them 250 mils because they will have reduced the sugar content. So 200 mils of lemonade if you haven't got 20 grams of glucose. 200 mils of orange juice. Four jelly babies, which you always carry in your first aid box. Four teaspoons of sugar. 20 skittles. Glucose tablets vary, again, 20 grams of glucose. Now all of them roughly contain 20 grams of glucose, but don't be frightened if you've got nothing else, sugar and water, because if he goes unconscious on you, this person with the hypoglycemia, if he goes unconscious, you cannot administer anything to him. You put him into the recovery position and monitor until the ambulance comes.